In the midst of this debate, there are some who seem to be suffering from a kind of collective amnesia. Like him. After all that's happened, after the worst economic crisis, the worst financial crisis since the Great Depression, they want to return to the same practices that got us into this mess. No, they don't. No, they don't. He's not In listening. In fact, they don't. want to go back to the same policies that stacked the deck against middle-class Americans for way too many years. Dear God, are you there? And their philosophy is simple. Is there a God? We are better off when everybody is left take to me. fend for take themselves me and me down. play by take their own me down, rules. Please, I can't take it anymore. When everybody plays by the same rules, I'm here to it... say they are wrong. No, just... <laughs> Lemmings, listen to the Lemmings. He's talking about people who want you to play by the rules, the same rules. I'm sorry, he's in his Mussolini pose. Hi. Lemmings! I'm here in Kansas to reaffirm my deep conviction. Yeah. Well, I can't wait for his conviction. We're greater together than we are on our own. I believe that this country succeeds when everyone gets a fair shot. When everyone does their fair share. Oh, dear. When everyone plays by the same rules. Eye cramps. I just got an eye cramp. When everyone plays like, you mean like GE, Mr. President? Like GE? Or all of the companies and the banks and the unions who receive special exemptions from Obamacare, at least 1,800 businesses and unions, companies like McDonald's. The biggest single waiver for your stupid health care was United Federation of Teachers Welfare Fund, a New York union. Whoa, what? At least seven local chapters of SEIU. More than 50% of the wager, waivers to let them out of your health care nightmare have been given to unions. Why don't they have to play by the same rules? We all know the story by now. Yeah. Mortgages sold to people who couldn't afford them. Yes. Or even sometimes understand them. Because they didn't speak English. Banks and investors allowed to keep packaging the risk and selling it off. Yes, because you bailed them out. Huge bets and huge bonuses made with other people's money on the line. <laughs> Regulators like who were supposed to warn us about the dangers of all this, but looked the other way. Like Tim Geithner. Or didn't have the authority to look at all. Okay. Okay. It was wrong. Wow. Well, yeah. It combined you the had me, breathtaking it was wrong. greed of a few with... Okay. Bets made with other people's money on the line, like the bailouts, the one that Obama voted for. May I ask you, who's more irresponsible, the fool who, 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 who fooled everybody or the fool who enabled him and then went back and enabled him some more? You want to talk about the lack of oversight and regulation? Forget about the banks. We just showed you volumes of regulations that they have dedicated to the, to the banks, right? But there's, there's nothing regulating the Fed. The Fed is a corporation, a co conglomeration of banks. They're unregulated. And now, you ready for this one? See if you can find this story anywhere. They're now being advised by the top 16 hedge funds in the world who are also unregulated. The Fed's sitting around in a big, dark, spooky star chamber saying, bring in, bring in the hedge funds. <laughs> yes, master. Here's what I would do. That's what's happening, all unregulated. His solution isn't regulation of the unregulated, the Fed. No, they're growing in power. The hedge fund's growing in power. Let me ask you this. Why is the stock market going up in direct correlation to the quantitative easing? Why, why, why? They are stealing your money under your nose, and they all know about it. It is not Wall Street. It is Washington. His solution is some sort of backwards country time lemonade let's all go for a carriage ride this watch this this is like the 15th time he's complained that the atm machine is putting people out of work watch this if you were a bank teller or a phone operator or a travel agent you saw many in your profession replaced by atms oh my gosh and the internet and the internet and if you're somebody whose job can be done cheaper by a computer or someone in another country you don't have a lot of leverage with your employer when it comes to asking for better wages or better benefits, especially since fewer Americans today are part of a union. I can't believe it. 
we would have had those great bank tellers. Wouldn't it be great if we would have had a unions, if our banks would have been unionized so we could still have the bank tellers? Oh, man, I can't tell you, Mr. Obama, how many times I say to myself, gee, honey, wouldn't it be nice if we could just go back to the days when we could only get money out between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m.? Wouldn't it be great if we could just go back to scheduling our days around bankers' hours? Wouldn't it be great if we could drive up after we raced out of the office to get to the bank? We could drive up and pull up, and you're like, nobody's here. Well, it's going to be so great. There's not going to be a line. And then you pull on the door and you're like, which holiday do the banks have this time that I don't have? Oh, I pine for those days when we had actual human beings screwing things up and I couldn't get my money at an ATM machine. Oh, oh, please bring those days back. But I digress. Over 100 years later, our economy has gone through another transformation. Over the last few decades, huge advances in technology have allowed businesses to do more with less. And it's made it easier for them to set up shop and hire workers anywhere they want in the world. Isn't that horrible? And many of you know firsthand the painful disruptions mm -hmm. this has caused for a lot of Americans. Mm -hmm. How true it is. How true it is. I, I, we got to take a break because I have to go save some polar bears. But I want to tell you something else. And not a lot of people have thought this one through. Do you know how many jobs have been lost since electricity. Seriously. You know how many people it takes to make candles? I mean, without electricity? Because you gotta take all the way, you dip it in, and then we could all, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go save a polar bear. Can you turn off the lights, please? Turn them all off, yeah. Oh, we should do the show like this every day. I could, no, no, turn the lights off. No, all of them, yeah, off. No, we gotta. I'm trying to save jobs. I, tomorrow at around 10-ish, if it's not a bank holiday, I can go get a, I can go stand in line at the bank. That'd be great. And you know what? I'm gonna start sending Western telegrams to people. Uh-oh, oops. I also think we should start going back to wooden matches. Do you know how many jobs we could create if we got rid of these lighters? Oh, President Obama, thank you for bringing us back to our original state, not the, not the Tea Party stuff, no, 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 not, not like the founding documents, but to the actual finding, you know, the, the actual founding principles of let's live by candlelight. GBTV, the truth lives here.